LA Knight makes a big comeback. He is running wild. He drops Orton at a very bad angle on what appears to be Orton's already bad back. There's an army of referees in the back helping Bobby Lashley out of the uh, cage. Blunt force trauma for Randy Orton. Blunt force trauma for Drew McIntyre. But then AJ Styles flies in out of nowhere and means to attack LA Knight with a chair. And yes, AJ Styles flew halfway around the world. He didn't have a match. He wasn't booked. He'd never promo. He flew however many thousands of miles that is from Georgia to Australia to beat up Ellie Knight with a chair. That's all he wanted to do. Uh, Hurricane Helms is, of course, still working with the WWE. He noted his return flight home was a five-flight trip, Australia to Hawaii to San Francisco to Charlotte to Raleigh. I believe I have that right, but there's five cities involved. And uh, that's not far away from where AJ lives. And uh, he had to do a similar, similar journey. He went there and back to hit LA Knight with a chair. So that's a mania match, obviously. LA Knight versus AJ Styles. And uh, Drew sees LA's dead body. Doesn't bother to hit a move. Just rolls over and pins him. So LA Knight is out. But everyone else is down and dead. It is still uh, Owens, Orton, Paul, and McIntyre. There's some big stuff with Drew and uh, Owens. Stunners, Papa Power Bobs, Claymores, all this stuff. Orton manages an RKO, is, looks racked with agony. And uh, there was an issue with this cage, and uh, it didn't show up earlier in the show, but it definitely showed up here. When you had two guys in the center of the ring going for a stare down, there's a bold, dark shadow falling right across one guy's face every single time. I don't know if it's because it got darker. There was not a problem when the women were out there. I know it's because these guys are taller than the women, and so the women were maybe under the shadow. But uh, something to watch for next time, WWE production crew. You know, it was otherwise a fantastic job and a very, very difficult day. That's a long trip with a lot of equipment. And, and uh, Michael Cole talked about the, the idea to avoid actual pirates to get this case to Australia. So, Orton begins to run wild. He hits a power slam while delivering a power slam, shouts fuck very bad, uh, loudly. So I'm thinking this guy was in a lot of pain. He gets cut off. Logan hits a high cross off the pod. Now Logan Paul is the only one standing tall. He makes a very dramatic display of reaching into his ties to pull out a set of brass knucks. He takes a lot of time to pull them out, put them onto his hand, pump his fist several times. As he is celebrating and posing, Orton flies it out of nowhere, RKO's him, and pins him. Logan is out, but again, he looked great. So at this point, we are down to uh, Orton and Drew. I missed Kevin Owens' elimination. I think it was Orton pinned him with the RKO. Yes, Orton manages an RKO and pins him, I wrote. Him would be Kevin Owens. So Owens is out. Owens is out. Paul is out. Santa Randy Orton and Drew McIntyre. I mentioned that uh, this is a lie around and sell match. Here is everything that happened between Logan Paul being eliminated and the end of this match. Orton hit a draping DDT in the ring. He tried an RKO. He got spine busted. Drew went for a claim war, but Orton collapsed. So Drew froze, but Orton hit an RKO. Logan returned and hit a brass ducks punch on Orton and Drew pinned him. Four minutes and 20 seconds to unfold. A lot of downtime there. Very dramatic. Very melodramatic as uh, these fallen warriors were, 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 were looking for their last gasp of oxygen to get to their feet one more time and fight on. So, yes, uh, Drew McIntyre wins. It will be Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Again, not a surprise, and that's not a bad thing. It's an actually been teasing you, and Drew's been on fire lately. Drew, Drew's been excellent. I lo- Drew's a great... Uh, a lot of his best promo work is on social media. Let's walk down the street and cut a promo burying some guy. He's fantastic at it. And uh, yeah, I, that, that's all. That's all well and good. Your main event is, in fact, Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax, defending the uh, women's title. Rhea Ripley is giving a massive hometown ovation. All right, I'm just gonna level with you. I thought this match was awesome. Apparently, Brian did not. You can listen to his show he did with Dave. Get a differing opinion. I thought Nia was. I mean, yes, so there's times here where she's still Nia Jax. Of the two, Rhea did a better job. I won't deny that. But on the whole, Nia's job was to be a big, unmovable giant that Rhea Ripley, the hero, had overcome. And my God, was Nia a great giant in this match. 
Rhea, of course, gets the biggest reaction of the entire night. Grown women were crying in the crowd, just laying eyes on Rhea Ripley and uh, seeing how their woman had their, their girl have become this this powerful woman and uh, a, glo a global megastar as she is. So they note Rhea Ripley is in fact the smaller one of the match for one of the very 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 rare occasions that's ever happened. So she's out there doing ranas and drop kicks, but Nia cuts her off, drops her. Does one senton across her gut, and that's it. Rhea's fighting from behind the rest of the match. She's in deep, deep trouble from here on out. And Nia was a great heel. Just stomps her for a while. Mocks the crowd. Uses a stretch muffler. Uses a torture rack. There's a multiple powerbomb spot where she's deadlifting Rhea up over and over again. And Rhea is not a small woman either. Rhea is fighting back with a, a missile drop kick. You can see she's not comfortable with that. And uh, Maya gets an avalanche Samoan drop for two. She goes up top, but Rhea drops her across the buckle, hits the Mamacita Eddie Guerrero tribute frog splash for two. She keeps trying her pump handle slam. The greatest finish in the history of wrestling, the pump handle slam. Just can't get it because, of course, Maya's a giant. So finally, the fight spills outside. And Naya tries a power bomb through the announced desk, not bothering to move the monitors or anything. So poor Rhea, her back goes across these, like the monitors stab her in the back, basically. That looked absolutely no fun. And uh, the table did not break. And so Naya's big plan is to climb up on the chair and do an elbow drop from the table to break it. These chairs, much like my own chair, you see me here uh, nervously rocking back and forth, spinning back and forth. These chairs spin. And so when Naya tries her elbow off the chair, the chair spins off from underneath her. She almost fell straight down onto her face. Got just enough of her weight onto the table to, uh, on top of Rhea, on top of the table to break it. So at least it worked in the end. And she throws Rhea into the ring. Hits the Yokozuna bonsai drop, which she calls the uh, Naya later, which is awesome. Rhea does the big dramatic kick out. Naya stunned. Goes back to the well. Tries a second Annihilator. But when she goes to the top rope, uh, Rhea pushes her down out of the ring. Naya tries to climb up to the top rope. Rhea catches her with one big suplex back in. And then it's just one big scream by Rhea. One big kick to the head by Rhea. One big riptide by Rhea. She finally got the giant up for the, the pump handle slam. And she gets the pin. I thought this was great. It was simple. It was basic. It was uh, uh, it was dramatic. You you had a hero and a villain and a reason to cheer one party and a reason to boo the other. There was an investment. The crowd goes absolutely crazy. Uh, I thought this the best thing on the show, and it's not just because I mean this is a pretty good show. Honestly, I thought at least with the benefit of being able to fast forward through all the crap, uh, the actual wrestling on the show I thought was pretty good. I thought this would have been the best match on a lot of WWE shows. I thoroughly enjoyed Rhea Ripley versus Nia Jax, and I shall accept no other opinions. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.